Hey guys, um, you're too cool here. Um, with another uh, toy review. My first in like over a year, I would say. Um, I'm very sorry for all my subscribers and fans how long I've been gone and everything. But my grades are back on track. I won't be gra being getting grounded anytime soon. Um, just give you that little update real quick. Um, so this is the uh, Gamera. Um, ad um. Uh, Sorry, I'm gonna Gamera, um, Hack of Iris, uh, Gamera, you know, from Gamera 3. Revenge of Iris, not Attack of Iris. Um, so as you can see, uh, he was, uh, he's pretty faithful to the original design. Oh, by the way, this review was requested by none other than Ultraman 52, and this, mm, I'm really sorry to him, because he he's been wanting to see this guy for a long time. And I just haven't been making videos in a while, so I'm very sorry, Ultraman 52. I hope this uh, pleases you. Now uh, you can probably see the Blu-ray player in the background. Um, but anyway, um, this is actually a pretty nice figure. Um, nothing spectacular, but what you'd expect from Bandai in Japan. Uh, I used to have a tag, but I cannot find it, so I don't care. Because I ripped my tags off, unlike most people. Because I do intend to make videos with them and they look strange in videos. Um, he is, I think, four points, well, actually five points if you count the tail. Five points of articulation. His arms rotate 360. His legs also rotate 360. They'll give you a little bit of trouble though, but you can still do it. Yeah, so everything rotates 360 on this guy. He's about 6 inches. We'll see how he matches up with none other than the King of the Monsters, Godzilla. This is, of course, the Bandai Creation version, um, but he matches up pretty well. Godzilla is a bit taller than Gamera. Even the Heisei Gamera is smaller than uh, the Heisei Godzilla, and this is the Millennium Godzilla, but still. Um, this is, I think this, uh, this is the tallest of all Godzillas, Final War Godzilla, so it only makes sense that he'd be taller than Gamera. Um, so, uh, he sizes up pretty well with almost any regular, um, you know, standard 6-inch Bandai figure, you know. Just, uh, he matches up pretty good if you're gonna make a video with him. It, it's best to get one of those. Um, he's actually, the paint job's nice and all, it looks just like the movie. And I'm very happy, uh, with Bandai Sculpt. I, I like how they, like, made a little bit of, like, uh, they made it kind of look like, Kind of more gritty than like a, than like you know just a straight figure you know they made it look a little bit dirty like if you look at its paws you can see that's not actual dirt but actually in the design um and he's really cool looking I like his eyes and the mouth um he's pretty cool looking and I'm very 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 happy with him he was only like I only paid like eight dollars for him I got him on eBay um. So yeah, he's worth the price you pay for him. By the way, I forgot to mention, this is the reissue of the original 1999 one. But it's virtually the exact same. Um, so as you can see, uh, it's as you can see, it's pretty much just like a regular Bandai figure, but well done. And uh, I like the place on his stomach, they're very shiny and nice. So, I rate this figure on a scale from 1 to 5. I would rate him about three. Average, not bad, pretty, pretty good, pretty good sculpt, and um, I'm overall very happy with this guy. So, near too cool, near too cool. Thumbs up. He gets a thumbs up. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to, I'd check him out, and he's definitely worth it. Well, this is near too cool. Signing out.